Welcome to Mission Sunlight in 2010. We begin the new year exploring the New World region known within the Seventh-day Adventist Church as the East Central Africa Division. Well, East and Central Africa Division covers 10 countries. And these 10 countries will have four in the 1040 window area. And these are Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. This is the land of verdant landscapes for the mountain gorilla in the highlands of Rwanda, the sun-drenched plains of the Serengeti, and the Masimara wildlife reserves where wildlife such as zebra, elephants, wildebeest, and rhinos roam. Cutting through this continent is a sight we have seen before back in Ecuador, but it is much more modest and less celebrated where we stop on this journey in northern Kenya. The equator is marked by a simple sign at the end of a path between two cornfields. A local man named James demonstrates the impact of the poles on either side of the imaginary line. This is a land of people and dreams, of tribal beliefs as well as Christianity. Peace does not reside easily among some countries within the East Central Africa division. There have been wars and conflicts. Tribe has fought against tribe. And yet there is hope for healing both from physical and spiritual wounds. Amidst the tragedy, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has ministered to millions of people throughout the region. Church members have been displaced by war, churches were damaged, and educational institutions were destroyed because of conflict. Where you have the countries like Congo, you have uh, Rwanda, and you have Burundi, these three countries have really uh, undergone some challenges of stability, socioeconomic problem, but uh, we, we are uh, hoping to see uh, some changes coming and which we believe by God's grace, peace is coming now back to normal. There are other unique challenges within this territory. In some areas, tribal customs dictate certain long-held beliefs be passed from generation to generation. Seventh-day Adventist Christians seek to dispel the destructive practices. One example is a group of believers who have established the Kajado Rehabilitation and Educational Center. This center provides a haven of safety for young girls, as young as seven years old, who may be sold into marriages or subjected to long-time tribal rituals. Uh, in general, the major challenge we have is the unentered areas. And this, I, I, I wish to tell you that, uh, for instance, one of the countries we have in, in, in Mao Division, more than six dialects. So imagine that six, 600, 600 dialects, uh, which have not really been uh, reached out to. And we have quite a number of uh, uh, people groups which have not reached out to it yet. During our visits to the East Central Africa Division, or ECD, this quarter, you will hear the story of faithful doctors and their assistants who work diligently at a clinic in Burundi to bring physical healing to the citizens of Bujumbura and the surrounding areas. Travel with us to the new site of Adventist University of Central Africa. It is being rebuilt after being destroyed because of war. Hear what students have to say about how important this project is and what it means to them. Of the first quarter 2010, the World Church has designated a portion of these offerings that will benefit uh, some projects in this division, East and Central Africa Division. Uh, the first one uh, is going to uh, help put up uh, complex at the uh, University of Africa. The second one is uh, another project in the country of Burundi, uh, rightly in the city of Bujumbura. And this is a health clinic. Uh, the community in that city uh, really uh, has not been uh, uh, reached out in a specific way, but health uh, is really a way of reaching out to the community in that city. As with any conflict, children are the ones who are the most affected, but they have no voice about the events that impact their lives. The ECD is working to rehabilitate children 
who have been displaced or orphaned by war. The third project is the one we have uh, identified in Kigali, where we need to address the needs of children. Funds from the 13th Sabbath Mission Offering will support the construction of a multi-purpose hall on the university's campus. This project will help us to, for the worship on Sabbath, during the week, in the academic meetings, during graduation, and uh, it will help us to increase the evangelization of the student. Because for now we have one of the academic central academic building, and we don't know we don't have any place to 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 meet with the student. You can have a part in giving hope and healing for today, and for eternity. On March 27th, the 13th Sabbath offering will be collected. What part will you play in healing a sick mother and her children through the work of the Adventist Medical Clinic in Bujumbura? Rehabilitating an orphan who has witnessed war and death only to be tossed aside as unnecessary. Or providing educational opportunities to students at Adventist University of Central Africa in Rwanda. How can we cling to the prosperity that we have when there are others who are dying without hope or healing in their lives? What will your gift be on Sabbath, March 27th? Reporting from the East Central Africa Division, this is Mission Sunlight.